As many of you already know, today is my last day with Pocket Now. I'm leaving the mobile industry, but I will be taking some of my gear with me. For months, many of you have been asking about the devices I use and what I have installed on them. What's in my bag as I leave the industry? For the last time, I'm Taylor Martin with Pocket Now, and this is what's in my bag. It seems like it was just last week, but back in May, I detailed what gear I carried in my bag each day. Since much of it is still the same and will remain the same, I won't go through all the intricate details again, but I will hit the highlights and talk more about what has changed. A link to the original What's In My Bag piece can be found in the description below. To start, the bag I carry almost everywhere I go is the Book Boa Shift Bag. It's a little on the expensive side, but it's worth every penny with a native lost and found tracking system called Terralink and some of the best build quality I've ever seen in a bag. It's comfortable and has a snake jaw like hinge, hence the name, to easily access everything in the giant single pocket. It has tons of flaps, folders, and pockets for organization, and I always know where everything is in the bag. It's an awesome bag with tons of padding and a very rigid design. But I guess it's what's in the bag that you care about most. First, cables. Lots and lots of cables. I have the Nomad charge key and a similar micro USB cable for quickly snapping charging cables on my keyring. I have long and short micro USB cables and a USB 3.0 cable for my 1.5TB Sony hard drive. I also have several chargers. I have a Motorola 2 USB AC adapter and a 6 port Shark USB charger for keeping all my mobile devices charged, as well as a few power packs to choose from, like the Dark Energy Reservoir and an XStorm 4000 and I have a 2 USB port 3 plug Philips surge protector I never leave home without. I also have a MacBook Pro power block with an extension cable that never leaves my bag. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, I don't like my devices to die, ever. It's a pain to keep all those cables organized though, so I also keep about a bajillion cable ties on hand just in case. As for headphones, lately I've been using the Nokia Purity Pro wireless active noise cancelling over the ear headphones, some Huawei active noise cancelling earbuds, and I have some Bose MIE-2i's that I always leave in my bag. There are other odds and ends I also leave in my bag like the Gerber Dice multi-tool, a mini screwdriver set, pins for whatever reason, and SIM adapters. Most of my devices have remained the same since May. I still use the 2013 MacBook Pro with Retina, though it has a few more stickers than last time. I still have the Sony NEX 5N for stills and video, the HTC One I made on T-Mobile, though I briefly switched to the Google Play Edition Z Ultra until I broke it, and I still have the iPad Mini which I use with the Zag Keys cover. And I upgraded the iPhone 5 on Verizon to a 64GB iPhone 6 Plus. And that just about does it for all the gear in my bag. But I've also received a ton of questions about what apps are on my devices. That could warrant an entire video for each device, but I'll do my best to keep it short. I use many of the same apps on both iOS and Android and on phones and tablets. Like RDO for music streaming, Authy for two-factor authentication, LastPass for managing my passwords, Evernote, Sunrise, Todoist, VSEO camera, Hangouts, Mailbox copy, if this then that, Feedly, Pocket, PocketCast, Twitch, Buffer, and SoundCloud. I know, it's a lot. On Android, I prefer Phoenix for Twitter and Reddit Sync Pro for browsing Reddit. And on iOS, Tweetbot is my go-to Twitter client, and Alien Blue, the now official client, is my preferred way to browse Reddit. And some other apps worth mentioning are TapPath and Linkbubble from Chris Lacey on Android, Product Hunt and Reader 2 on iOS. Finally, if you want awesome games to check out, give Alone and Monument Valley on either platform a look, and Roid Rage on Android for some great casual gaming. Sadly, that's going to do it folks. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and like this video. Also, follow this awesome team around the web on Twitter, Facebook, Google+, and Instagram at PocketNow. I've been Taylor Martin, and I will see you on the other side. If you want to continue following me and what I do, be sure to find me on Twitter at CasperTech, and you can subscribe to my personal YouTube channel, Mod, at youtube.com slash modathome, where I'll be doing all sorts of DIY projects, life hacks, and other productivity stuff. And you can find my podcast at untetheredcast.com. Thanks for all the likes, views, comments, kind words, and love. I'm forever grateful. That's it. Woo!